this is going to be a short video about my time in Uganda as you can see I was uh, enjoying Lake Victoria there just last week um, so a short history beginning with uh, the notorious Joseph Coney who has been capturing children since about the 1980s using them in his so called Lord Resistance Army another false Christian who is um, an absolute devil and uh, this video is also going to be about a lot of the witchcraft that's uh, still going on there in Uganda, child sacrifice and Joseph Coney is only a militant arm of witchcraft within East, East Africa and of course some, some of them love to pose as Christians um, just as they do in the West and it's a favourite tactic of the enemy to do that but you're getting men uh, such as Sam Childers who the Lord sent out there a couple of decades ago and is able to rescue a lot of these children away from Joseph Coney and uh, you can watch his movie which is called The Machine Gun Preacher um, definitely one of the best movies of the past few decades in my opinion if you can get a hold of that um, I think it's available on YouTube, but I uh, highly recommend watching that, um, just to see the situation there. And uh, as pastors and ministers that visit East Africa and Uganda quickly learn is that they're against the spiritual powers of uh, darkness in, in high places and principalities and powers, as it says in the Bible, as the Apostle Paul describes. Yes, yeah, so the Ugandan army has been... Uh, actually given up their search for Joseph Coney the past two or three months. Some say that he could be dead, but uh, there's no confirmation about that. Some say he's fled further west, um, towards West Africa, but nobody really knows for sure. And so, But we should pray for this area if you're a Christian. And again, please get involved uh, with the work that we've been doing out there, helping the AIDS orphans. Um, as you saw in a previous video, please get involved with that and the Lord will really, really bless you. Well, this picture is of the Ugandan president. I believe he led the chase for Joseph Coney the past few years. Um, had a very close encounter uh, with him while I was uh, there in Uganda, so I uh, was able to visit quite a few ministries. And uh, as I said, I saw a few deliverances uh, that, that I did uh, in the Lord's grace uh, they do use the name Ye Yeshu out there which in Hebrew um, is not uh, Jesus name it's actually Yeshua and so when they started to praise Yeshua's name uh, demons started coming out of people so that's uh, a little tip for anyone who's doing deliverance ministry also, it turned out that uh, the place that we're staying, we found out it belonged to a sorcerer. And uh, basically, I was rebuking demons for about two nights. Um, and while we're staying there almost uh, a week, um, able just to take instruction from the Lord and just pray about the whole place, which had been uh, done various uh, blood sacrifices within that area. Um, some even say human sacrifice, which out there. Um, there's many children uh, that go missing um, all over Uganda and East Africa and this problem should be very much prayed about and addressed by every Christian um, out there available and we did what we could do especially for the AIDS orphans which uh, we fed about 20 um, of them out there and as I said uh, I made a video about that and uh, it's going to cost at least about $100 per child um, to give them the correct medication and education and uh, everything else that goes with that, about $100 a month. So if, if you can even just spare 5 or $10 in the Patreon account, we'll see how that goes. Um, otherwise, obviously, if uh, YouTube is not responding um, to this ministry, you know, I'll be seeking other ways of uh, getting money uh, to send out there. Just going to briefly look at charms that uh, ministers use in this section of the video and you can see very large rings especially with precious stones in them and this is usually uh, 9 out of 10 times a sign that your local pastor or minister has went to a witch doctor to get um, 
powers from them uh, and this is called a charm uh, so they're given these and they're able to perform certain healings they're able to see into the spiritual realm um, but uh, if you go to such pastors you know your problem might uh, look as if it's getting better but it will actually um, get a lot lot worse uh, and that's how a lot of these false ministries um, are done um, not just out there in Africa but you just got to be very careful of who you are actually going to for ministry in these last days because Satan is very very deceptive and very active even within the churches today you got to be aware of this now since I started doing trips in Africa um, I very much learned about uh, the praise and worship and how valuable that is and how wonderful that can be produce such intimacy and uh, joy uh, with the Lord but as one ex um, occultist called Amos any which you'll be able to check out his testimony uh, on YouTube which uh, he became a Christian but uh, he was an agent for Satan and sometimes he actually went into churches and uh, caused a lot of confusion but what he recommends is that when you're coming into the Lord's presence it's important to confess your sin um, as it says in the book of James confess your sin one to another sometimes you're standing there in the presence of God confessing your sin to the high priest and uh, making sure that your conscience is clear before you go on and uh, um, you know give up your praise and worship to the Lord there is a parable that Lord Jesus talks about which I'll just highlight just now well for those of you who have never traveled to Africa before for one reason or another uh, they will try to charge the Mzungo, which means the white man, um, sometimes double, treble or more um, when you're involved in buying things, so you've got to be careful, always uh, try to understand the price of something before you buy it. Um, in this occasion, we're going to the zoo, the Mzungo has to pay four times what the Ugandan does when he gets into the zoo, so here's some footage of Uganda Zoo which didn't have a line by the way, it died. That's what monkeys do. Getting some fleas taken out is the normal thing. For early development. And as we see, this monkey over here studying his local habitat. <laughs> Hello monkey. Getting some grooming skills. Hello. Hello, monkey. I know it's very itchy. <laughs> wow, it's pretty. Got a flea there. It's taking care of its kid, you see? Checking. Oh my god. I think we got some. What have we got here? Ibex or something like that? Wow. And we find the one you took was not nice. Do not jump over. through about half an hour 
was solid fire, 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 fire. So I hope people are getting healed and delivered. I really pray they are, but I'm just not really feeling the Holy Spirit. I just I'm not really feeling it as as I have like when I enter into certain places and I think well you know if you can feel the Holy Spirit I'm just it's not really feeling it but we'll see how it goes later. Give you an update man. Bob has provided dinner for the kids, precious angel, um, and some two brothers. We have brother Kauma, we have brother Enoch, and mutually inclusive. We thank God for this dinner. Actually, this is the last dinner when Bob is leaving Uganda for the first time. We thank God that he will be here. He's just going back, but he will be here. We believe God in Jesus' name.